everybody, welcome back to the channel. I am Robert and today we are going to get back to uh, my experiment to uh, turn my RV into a YouTube studio. So without further ado, let's roll the intro. everybody again welcome back to the channel if you're already a subscriber thanks for returning if you're a new subscriber welcome we are glad to have you here as part of the family I am uh, Robert aka the tall man and uh, we do all kinds of fun stuff related to RVs whether it's reviews tips tricks and um, today we are going to continue the process into turning this little area here into my my RV YouTube studio Okay, uh, we ordered a bunch of stuff from Amazon and it just came in, so uh, let's go ahead and get to the unboxing. Okay, so everything's out of the box. Let's uh, show you what we got. All right, so first things first, that's this big box here. Let's see if we can figure out how to get into it. Oh yeah, this is the lighting kit, all right? So, before I get completely into the box, let's talk about lighting. When you're shooting video, it's best to have three points of light. One is called the key light, the second light is called the side light, and the third light is called the back light. Um, I'm gonna see if I can find some clips uh, of, of videos of guys in their YouTube studio. If I'll put them kind of in there right now. Uh, so you're kind of probably looking at that and that's kind of what we're trying to get at here in the the RV is to have that YouTube studio look so a key light is either to the left of your subject or the right of your subject it doesn't matter which side but the first light is called the key light and again I'll put a diagram up there so you can see what I'm talking about now the side light is the same as the key light just opposite okay so one's called the key light the other uh, is called the side light the backlight obviously it's a backlight and that's to give some some depth to what you're doing and so we're not sure we're gonna be able to get that depth here in the RV but we're gonna go ahead and try so all right so back uh, back to the box here let's uh, these are the lights that we got we got three of them and I have a light on on the, the camera which I'm, I'm just using my iPhone but I have a light above there I have this on a little rig and maybe one day I'll show you with the rig um, and but it's just not enough so oh we got this and this and this all right so let's see what all this is so I'm sure this is these are the stands yep so these are the little tripods that come with it which are kind of cool all right so we got a little tripod and this I think goes up to about four feet all right so I'm just gonna set this uh, Kind of down like that, which is kind of awesome. And then this is going to go up like so, and like so. Uh, of course, I think I need to move the legs down here just a little. There we go. Okay. All right. So we have our little tripod, and then uh, I think this is a little cap, which is kind of you know, kind of neat. It's like a bicycle cap. Let me put that up there. All right. Here's our lights. Now, what's neat about these lights? They come with four different filters. All right. Oh, that fell down. So here's your filter pack. There's a blue, there's a yellow, there's a red, and uh, there's an amber. And so we can change the colors, which is kind of nice. Got your little instructions. And then here's the light itself. Now what's cool about these lights is they're actually, they're selectable. All right, so you got your, your, your extension cord. And I'm not sure if you can see, but there's a selector there, so you can choose how bright you want the lights, okay? And so this here is just an accessory. You don't have to use this, but what this enables you to do is angle the light. So you just screw that on like so, all right? And then the light would screw on like so. Uh, there we go, screw that on like that. And then you have the, the ability to, to articulate it just a little bit here. Let me get that screwed on tight because we're going to be using that. All right. So, yeah, see, with this, you can you can move the light in different angles. All right. So there's the light. Now, there's one thing. I'll put the link down in the description of where I got these lights. I think it was like 
40 bucks or $49 for three of these lights. But here's the trick. As you can see, this is a USB light. So you have to order an accessory. So what did I get here? I think that's what these are here. Let me see if I can get into this box. Yes, that's what these are here. These are the plugs that go in the light. Et voila. Now, because I might not have access directly to a plug, because we are in an RV, I did order some, some extensions, and I'm pretty much sure that's what these are. All right, so let's try to get into here. All right, so these are USB extensions. Oh, it's neat, it's, they come with a little Velcro cable wrap, so if you're not using them, when you wrap them up, you've got a little hook and loop Velcro cable wrap. And so what's neat about this is it's uh, a male to female, so I can just, or can I not, plug that in there, and now I have a much longer cord to plug into wherever the power is in my fire. So, We've got these, so we have those three things. We've got one other thing that we bought now. Over here in this back area, it's just kind of a blank wall, so I want to jazz that up a little bit. So we got, uh, again, in an RV, I don't know if it's just me or not, but I don't want to be screwing into the wall, okay? Um, so we got these shelves from Command, and so um, they're small, but uh, we also ordered some little lamps to go up there. Um, they're not in yet, so we may have to do a follow-up video to this. But we've got these neat little shelves, and uh, I'm not going to stick them up there now, but if I just hold it, you see, just these cute little shelves, right? They're out of the way, so they're not going to be in our way when we're sitting there, getting up and down. And we'll put one up, and we'll put one down, and then we've got some little accent things. So give me a few minutes to, to get the rest of these lights unboxed, and uh, we'll see what we can make this look like for you guys. So for you, it's just going to be a second. For me, it's going to be a few minutes. So hang on. And there you have it. Um, I'm obviously in a different shirt. <laughs> it's actually a different week now. But uh, here it is. We have 95% uh, completed the RV YouTube Studio. The only thing we're missing right now is the little shelves. We're going to put back over here with the, we've got a couple little um, light bulb type lamps. We're going to put on those little shelves. And we're just waiting for those uh, those light bulb type lamps to come in. Um, and we're waiting on Amazon like probably everybody else. But what do you think, right? So this is what we ended up doing. I have a light over to my left, which is, uh, we call that the key light. My left, your right. <laughs> and then I have a light over to my right, which is called the fill light. And then I have a light all the way back up here. That is my, uh, some people call it a rim light, we call it a backlight, it's got a couple different names. But that's putting a little shadow right here on my head, right? So it's helping give me a little separation. Now in the back, of course we have the LED lights uh, up there from part one, but we got an LED bar and put it behind the sofa, which is giving us uh, all that extra blue, and of course we can do different colors with that, but we kind of like the way the blue looks. Uh, what color do you like? Uh, let us know in the comments down there, and you know we'll we'll shoot some different colors for you, and and see what it looks like. We like the blue. So here's the best part of all of this. There's actually several things. One, this did not cost a ton of money. Um, the light kit I bought came with three lights, the stands, everything I needed was like forty nine dollars. All right, I got it off of Amazon. Um, I'll link the description down below. Okay, um, the light bar i think was about 30 bucks uh 30 dollars yeah i think the light the light bar was 30. again i'll find it and i'll put that in the description what i'm trying to get at is for less than a hundred dollars i've created a really nice look for our youtube uh videos that we're going to do in the rv now of course uh, you can just open shades and film by the light but we do a lot of our filming at night due to you know our lifestyle and so filming in here with the lights on it, it just it just didn't look great and we wanted to up up the look of our content for you guys so for less than a hundred dollars we've got this 
right? Now, do us a favor. Let us know what you think down below in the comments about that as well. We want to know about the color. We want to know uh, what, what you think about the new look. We love it, right? So the other best part, this only takes five minutes to set up. Now, it took us a little bit of time to find all the right places for things, but now that we know where everything goes, everything gets put away in five minutes time, sets back up in five minutes time. So it's not like this has to take hours to set up. Now, I will tell you this for all you RVers out there. If you've ever watched any other videos of regular YouTube studios, you know these guys have all kinds of huge lights and elaborate setups and they're there full time. They're there full time because it would take a lot to set that up. I have two tripods here, a tripod for the camera, and that's it. Oh, the, the light up there, it actually clips. Um, I'll, I'll show you, uh, you probably already saw it. It just clips up there. The stuff behind the sofa is back there all the time, right? So it only takes five minutes and you can uh, have better quality video. Right? So anyway, guys, we appreciate you watching this video. If, if you're new to the channel, right, hit that subscribe button down there, pound that thumbs up, and thank you very much for being coming part of the family. For all those who are already subscribers and you come back to watch, thank you so much. Uh, we love you all. We appreciate you all being part of the family. And until next time, we will see you on the road.